Say you raised your kid. Try to do the best that you can. Of course. Gave them some morals and values. Mm -hmm. But when they became a teenager and a little later on in life, they started robbing, started getting in a bunch of trouble. And then they've hurt somebody permanently, you know. Say they didn't put somebody in the hospital that can't walk or, or, but now they're in jail. Do you blame yourself? Because technically you raised that individual. Okay. So my thing with that, this is my thing with that. As long as you put laid down the foundation, mm -hmm. you laid it down. You laid down the foundation with, with your son, daughter, whatever, right? You gave them exactly they know what's right and wrong. If they choose as an adult to stray away from your teachings, don't you think it's on them? Don't you think it would be on the actual individual? Why are you placing blame on yourself when you have already given them the necessary tools to, to live their life? I would say, Cain, because, and we see this, Time and time again, mm -hmm. uh, with some of these shooters in these schools, some yeah. of the parents are negligent, but some yeah. of the parents, you know, know they kid have problems trying to help their kid out and different things, and the kid's still living with them, and the parent do blame themselves, and some people in society blame the parents too because that is still your seed but they are, are they grown and the, these school shooters some of them not grown, grown are you saying some some of them are still in school some of them yeah you know some yeah yeah so so maybe those but i'm talking about the ones that are adults and a lot of them are adults a lot of these school shooters or whatever or those drive-by shooters or the one that's doing all these different things they are adults they are being influenced by other people they are right they choose not they know right from wrong because that's why they hide how they do things how they move mm -hmm. they already know it's wrong but they're willing to take that risk now we would have to talk to someone that's actually taking that risk and just to see why did you take that risk why would you do that we're not talking to people who are like, man, I didn't even know that I was in the wrong. We're not talking about people like that mm -hmm. because they know. Nine times out of 10, probably 10 out of 10, that they know that they were in the wrong. They just chose that negative action. So why would you want to place the blame on you? Because if they didn't know, they would be out there reckless, right? If they didn't know, they would be out there doing all kinds of stuff and getting caught and still not not knowing anything. Well, you're saying so. The, so you're saying the parent should not take any responsibility, or the spouse. Say your spouse is doing crazy things mm -hmm. to individual, and you know, mm -hmm. or you 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 got a feeling. You just have that feeling. Mm -hmm. And something bad goes, something bad happens, but you should not blame that person. They shouldn't blame themselves or whatever. What is the 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 absolution in that? How can they uh, keep their hands clean to have that? I don't have to clear their conscience. That's what I really want to say. To be at peace within themselves. So shouldn't they bear some of the blame? No, why? Why? Even if somebody wants to analyze themselves, why? Why would you feel like that you are the blame unless you were the catapult mm. that put them over the edge? I like that. Yeah. Now, if you were that person, if you were that person that was doing things to that child or that individual that pushed them over the edge, maybe you can place the blame on yourself because you pushed them. You did all the damage. But if they had all the necessary knowledge and they choose to go that route, 
for whatever reason. They were in a relationship and they were so involved that they thought they couldn't be without that person just because yeah. they broke up with them and then unalized themselves. I mean, how can you place the blame on yourself? Even the person, even the person that broke up with him, how would he say, like, say for instance, a female want to want to unalive, unalive herself or whatever, right? And she commits, right, to it. Right. So, do you think the ex is to blame? Do you think the ex should blame himself for that? No, no, no. All right. So why why are we no. pointing the fingers at ourselves when we're talking about adults that are actually? Um, uh, going through whatever episodes now in the comments i already know hey, we're gonna go with mental health yes we're definitely. already gonna go with mental health well you pushed them over the edge and you knew that they were bipolar or you knew this and this and that and all these other different things i get it i i, I get it that there are circumstances different circumstances or whatever but we're just talking general the average person do you place blame on yourself when they get in trouble? They get convicted of a crime. They unalive themselves. Do you place the blame on yourself saying that you didn't do enough? And and this goes out. Great topic. Uh -huh. This goes out to a lot of different people, a lot of parents, um, even spouses. When I say the parents, when you're raising your kids and you're doing the best that you know how and oh, you course, see that individual is having some problems starting to get in a bunch of fights starting to go down the path that you definitely didn't set for them you you do have to try to get them to be involved try to talk to them try to get them some type of help but I you can that. only do so much get, and yep. then don't blame yourself yeah well i, w I would do this even though you know that you did the best you can, yes. you need to um, ask them for forgiveness. I would do that. And a lot of people will not ask the child for forgiveness. No, they'd be like, oh, uh, uh, you did that because of whatever, right? But, I mean, what's what's the harm in saying, man, I, I, you forgive me. I did the best I could when I was raising you. And just, and just let it all go. Yeah. Because forgiveness goes a, a long way. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't want to bring it into play they think this is whatever but it goes a long way because your heart is free once you know that you've been forgiven mm. it, it, it really is man it really is and congregation what do y'all think about it what do y'all think about this topic man i mean do you think that it's a possibility that you know a lot of people are pointing the fingers at themselves for somebody else's actions yeah and we're talking about adults Kids are a different story. I get it. I get it. They're still, their brain is still growing, things of that nature. But we're talking about adults. We're talking about adults and and their actions. And they know that they're wrong because they're being slick about it. Because if they didn't know they're wrong, they would be reckless about it. Come on. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how it is. But people don't want to see that. They want to say that. It's, it's always a mental. It's always a mental. It's always take some pills. It's always that. Why is it always that? That we resort to taking pills. Or they take so many pills that that's when they like it's too much for them. They don't like the way they the, those pills make them, make feel. them feel. Yeah. Well, I, I just think in this taking it off of a uh, going off another little subject, uh, yeah. but it just seems like in 2024, 20, um, more and more people are on some type of uh, medication for some type of uh, psychosis or bipolar, all Bruh. of those different things. Bruh. It just seems like, and the, is it, but then I'm going to leave it, but is it pushed to by uh, Big Farmer and different things of that nature? I mean, we go into a whole different area, but. It does seem, or do it, does it seem like that to you that more and more people are on uh, some type of uh, medication? Yeah, of course, of course, doctors may get kickbacks from from uh, pharma pharmaceutical reps or whatever for um, prescribing different products and making justification in the notes. I get it. That's what they do. 
That's exactly what they do or whatever. And then some of those medications become addictive. Yes. And then now they are addicted to it and they're straining, trying to get whatever, right? So, and, and I, and I kind of get that. And a lot of people will justify, especially those providers. And if there's any providers that are out there, you know, y'all can chime in too. But some providers, they, you know, hey, I gave justification. If they got hooked on them, they got hooked on them. I, I gave justification. This is what I think that they need or whatever. So, and, and a lot of times, and people can correct me if I'm wrong, a lot of times you don't necessarily need those drugs. But I, I get it. That's what they the society says, that you need drugs mm-hmm. in order to be sane on a day-to-day yeah. basis. Yeah. It sounds so wild. It sounds so crazy that you were born. God, God uh, mm-hmm. created you in a way where you need some drugs for the rest of your life. Does that sound realistic? Kane, that's a good question right there. That's actually a, a, a very nice question right there. And we will always say no, but so many different things happen with individuals of trauma. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't erase the trauma, right. but all we do is keep reliving the trauma. Yeah, that's exactly what we smart. do. We keep mm-hmm. reliving it over and over. And that's what caused PTSD because we sit back and we we in our thoughts because we're yeah. thinking about something that don't even that's not present right now. It right. may have existed in the past, but yeah. it's not present right now. And, and we keep reliving it over and over. And there may be triggers. It may be triggers. That right. Set it off. You may hear a sound. You may hear a, a voice. You may all kind of things that may trigger it or whatever. But you got to look at it like a movie. You're not in the movie. You're just watching it. So yeah. how about you just watch those thoughts as they come and go? Let them go. But are we not downplaying PTSD because it is real. Oh, I ain't All saying it's not real. Yeah, I ain't it saying it's not real. It's yeah. out there. We've been in the military. I know. know. I don't want people in our comments to say anything, there. you know. Yeah, yeah, but bro, bro, no, we've no. been there. We've, we've been over there yeah. in the yeah. sand over there. Yeah, in the sand. yeah, yeah. We did yeah. that already. Yeah, of course, of course. But I'm just saying, like, a lot of times, it can be dealt with without all the extra because I'm I'm I'm, I'm saying you know and, and you got you know I'm not a medical anything you know what I'm saying I ain't, right, right. I ain't dealing with none of that but I guarantee it's it, it when when you are stuck on any type of if you're relying on anything any one thing there needs to be some changes in your life in order to unless you ain't got to a point where you can't go back, but right. there needs to be some changes in your life. You know, when you're on something that you got to be on it, you know, unless it's something that's, you know, genetically, you know, you can't do anything about that. Right. It's, it's passed down genetics, you know, you can't do anything about that. But some things I think that, you know, I, I know we relive things in our head and it keeps going and going and going or whatever. And, you know, and then we get stuck on these different type of drugs and all of that. And y'all can let me know. Y'all can get me straight. Y'all can t- tell me that I'm wrong. Kane, you're stupid. Whatever. I don't. I don't care. But I'm just saying that a lot of times we are always in our head. Situations are different. Everybody's situation is not the same. But a lot of times we're in our head and we paint these pictures. We paint these pictures in our head of something that's tragic. And then we just relive it over and over and over right. and over. But and thank you for that, uh, Kane. You know, good gracious, we might have to put <laughs> you on a panel around here, okay? But um, taking it back to the topic matter, um, yeah. I would just like to say we can't blame ourselves for someone else's issue. Okay, and especially for the parents, because I think it's just so big, we can only try to provide the best we can and try to lead them. Because I think all parents, I think all parents, unless they have a problem, want to see their child be successful. Of course. I believe that. But if they happen to go to stray, parents, you can't beat yourself up. And then you're all depressed and you're all beat down because all of that affects the body. 
because of their actions. That's it for me. That's all I want to yeah. say. Yeah, and, and I agree. I agree, brother. Uh, you got to show them what right looks like. So you just be that God in light that they need to see that what right looks like. If they choose not to follow that light, that's on them. If they become adult, they can make their own choices. But you just be that 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 shining light. That's how I see it. Anything else for them, bro? Oh, no, no. Oh, we good? We good? We Congregation, good. in the comments, let us know. Give us a thumbs up, man, if you ain't did it. You ain't, you ain't made it this far. Let's Give us a go. thumbs up. Put a thumbs up, man. Subscribe if you just been watching us every now and again or whatever, man. Hit subscribe. We got. I'm telling you, we got some stuff queued up, and, and I think you'll like it. I think you'll like them. Stick with us. I think you'll like them, for sure, for sure. And that's the uncomfortable truth. Hey, baby. Roger that. Do something. Let's go. For sure. For sure. You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them. All of them. 